welcome to week seven of modalities movement therapy. I'm Brenda and we're going to be working on a lot of rotational moves today. So think of the spine as your little axis and, and we're going to be doing a lot of spiral movements, a lot of releasing of the deep core line and the diaphragm, which is part of the deep core line. For the workout, you're going to need a circle resistance band, a foam roller and some water. Let's begin in standing and we're going to step to the back of the mat. Take a nice deep breath in and circle your arms up next to your ears. As you breathe out, I want you to tuck the chin to the chest, roll down through the spine and hang out here. We're going to walk forward onto the hands into a plank position. If you need to come down onto the knees, do so. Otherwise, you can all drop down onto the elbows. And you're going to arch, looking ahead. Here we breathe in. As you breathe out, I want you to tuck the chin to your chest. Breathe in and arch again. Breathe out, tuck the chin to the chest. We're going to do two more. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Anytime you need to, drop onto the knees. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now you can drop onto the knees. And that's going to be our test. I want you to see at the end of the lesson or the end of the class what the difference is, how, how much more... How much easier that plank position is once we've released the body. If you can expose your belly button, I want you to bring the belly button onto the foam roller. And here I want you to try and relax as much as you can into the roller. We're going to release the diaphragm by breathing in and out through the nose. And I want you to imagine that foam roller is your diaphragm and you're pushing the diaphragm down so you the belly button's pushing into the roller and then you exhaling so as the lungs fill with breath you're pushing that diaphragm down feel the movement into the lower back so you want to release that lower back breathe out let's do it again take a nice deep breath in so we really want to focus the breath around the diaphragm and the belly button area. We want to bring ourselves into that parasympathetic state, so we want to stimulate the parasympathetic breathing system. Let's do another two, nice deep breath in. And breathe out. So you want to try to relax the shoulders. That, these are your secondary respiratory muscles up around the neck. But we want to focus on the diaphragm, which is your main muscle of respiration. Breathe out and release. Good. Push up onto your hands and knees. And now we're going to take the roller over to one side. Extend the, the outside leg. Take the hand pointing the fingers uh, sorry, the opposite hand. So the same hand as the side the roller is on. And you're going to look, so we're going to thread the needle. So I want you to bring your head underneath your armpit and I want you to roll the back of the hand on the roller. So you're pulsing there into that rotational move. Now keep it there if you can't move into the next position. Otherwise you're going to transfer your weight slightly back into your leg and you're going to extend that other arm up to the ceiling. And we're rotating on that spine. So really open up. Stretch the front of the top shoulder and the back of the bottom arm. Four more. And three. And two. And hold it and reach. Keep reaching, keep reaching. And release. From there, I want you to keep the roller where it is. You're going to drop down onto your side. And you're going to bring your armpit onto the roller. Bring your hands behind your head. Here we're going to breathe in and open up. And breathe out 
and rock forward. So we're releasing part of the rotator cuff around the back of the shoulder, about around the scapula. While we're in this position, I want you to massage up and down at the same time as breathing in and opening up. Breathe out and rock forward right onto those pectoral muscles in the front of that arm. Breathe in, open up and breathe out. Let's do one more, a nice deep breath in. Open yourself up and breathe out and rock forward. Good, from there, you're going to take the bottom arm behind you so the palm is facing down and the arm is parallel to the foam roller. You're extending the top arm, ear is on the roller and now you're going to look up at that top hand Try to keep squeezing the scapula together at the back and you're looking over that shoulder. So if you look at it from this angle, you're going to bring the arm parallel to the roller. So both arms are actually sort of parallel to the roller. You're trying to squeeze that, open up that top arm and squeeze the shoulder blades together at the back. Keep going in that same rotation. Bring the top hand back onto the mat. Push off and let's go over to the other side. So we're going to start in that rotational um, move. You're going to bring the roller to the other side. Extend the opposite leg, the outside leg. Now you're going to rotate the same hand that the, ro that the roller is next to and you're going to bring the other arm underneath so you're shredding the needle through and looking under that armpit. Rolling along the back of the hand over the wrist. Now here, transfer your weight slightly back as you extend the top arm and pulse that hand back, stretching the front arm line all the way over to the pectoral muscles as well. Pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, and reach and hold it and release. Good. Take yourself down onto the, first the armpits going onto the roller head into the hand, let's breathe in and open, breathe out, rock forward. Now as you're doing this, you're keeping the knees to the diagonal, but I want you to start that motion up and down. We're getting a little bit deeper into that fascial release. Let's rock forward, right onto those pectoral muscles, breathe in and open up. Breathe out and rock forward. Keep moving into that open position. Keep breathing in here and breathing out. Try to take that bottom elbow back as the top elbow rocks forward and then open them both up. So keep them on the same level. Finish off with one more rocking forward. Let's bring the ear onto the foam roller. Palm is facing down, arm behind you, parallel to the roller. Reach the top hand up to the ceiling and nod your head up and down. Breathing in and out. Keep going. Another two and another one. Good. From there, rock yourself forward onto your abdominals and you're going to reach the arms ahead of you, bring the wrist and the knife edge of the hand onto the roller. We're going to breathe in here. You're going to squeeze the glutes to lift you up and you're going to roll down. Breathing out as you breathe in. You look over the shoulders just to give your neck a little bit more rotation. Breathe out as you come down. Let's breathe in. 
Now I want you to come into a bit of a seesaw motion. So as the arms go forward and you lower down the upper body, the legs lift. Breathe in and rock. Four, three, two, and one. Good. From there, bring the sh hands next to the shoulders or under the shoulders. Tuck yourself and come up onto hands and knees. From that position, I want you to bring your roller onto the quads. So we're going to roll along the front of the thighs. If you can, walk all the way over the knees. If it's very sore, then just above the knees. Try relax the feet onto the mat or the floor next to the mat. So you're getting a little bit deeper into that release. Walk the elbows if you need to. Move up right over the hips if you can. Keep going. And bring yourself up onto your hands and knees again. The next movement is specifically for the knees. So it's up to you how much weight you want to put into the roller. So we're going to bring the knees onto the roller. You're curling the toes under, pushing into the balls of the feet. Hands directly under the shoulders. Now you're going to take the weight off the roller if you need to. Again, you can determine how much weight you want there. And we're going to shear over the knees. So move the knees forward and back. And you again, you can determine how much weight you want to put in. But it's quite a nice release for all the fascial lines that come into the knees. There, from there, I want you to stay on the knees, but you're going to turn the feet out. So we're rolling along the inner shin. Extend the hands slightly ahead of the shoulders. And slowly, slowly roll along the inner, inner shin and that deep core line. Try not to let the bum drop down. So I don't want to see you doing this. I want you to stay lifted in the core. Keep the bum lifted. So you can really engage those core muscles. Drop onto the elbows if you need to, if you're taking any strain in the wrists. And let's do another two. Breathing in. And another one. And breathing in. Good. From there, come off the, the roller and bring the roller next to you. We're going to release the upper thigh. The, again, another part of the deep core line. So bring the knee onto the foam roller. Open up the supporting leg and let's roll over the inner thigh. You can release the foot in front of the roller if you want to. Bring the roller right into that hip, right into that groin. Take it quite nice and far out. So you want to really bring it right into the groin. And keep going. We're going to do another three. So I want you to open up the supporting leg so you can really open up into the hips and stretch across the inner thighs. Finish off on the knees and then go over to the other side. Bring that knee up onto the foam roller and let's roll along. And again, release the foot if you want to onto the roller or onto the floor.
nice and slow, but a nice big range of movement right into that groin again. Let's do another two. And one more. Good, coming back onto the knees. Take the foam roller and bring it in front of you so it's parallel or perpendicular to the mat. Quick drink of water. Knees under hips. Knife edge of the hands onto the roller like in that seesaw motion. Bounce the chest up and down. Take a nice deep breath in here. As you breathe out, tuck the tailbone and roll the roller towards you. Let's position the foam roller lengthways on the mat. Now it's parallel and bring the hands in front of the roller. Curl the toes under, push up into a down dog position. Just loosen up the calves to walk to the feet. And when you're ready, both legs straight and you're going to walk your feet up to your hands. Come into a seated position at the bottom of the roller. Keep your resistance band handy. We're going to use it just now. And now I want you to try challenge yourself by bringing your feet close together. You're going to extend your arms forward. Take a nice deep breath in and breathe out as you roll down through the spine. Squeezing the glutes. And we're going to open up the arms, extending the legs. And just hold it here. And I want you just to focus on your breathing. Now rock a few times from side to side. And I want you to roll yourself off your roller and put the roller to the side. For now, we're going to come back onto the roller just now. But let's start off with the arms in line with the shoulders. And we're going to rock the knees over to one side. The arms are open here. Now, I want you to, we're going to uh, test that range of motion lying flat on the mat. And then you're going to test it with the spine on the roller. So that back arm that's in line with the shoulder, I want you to look at that back arm and I want you to breathe in here. As you circle the arm up next to the ear, bring the palm forward over the other hand and then you're going to breathe in again. Open the arm up. And as you bring the arm next to the ear, start your exhalation. And when you start opening up there, you're going to breathe in and breathe out. Let's keep going. Another four. Nice deep breath in and breathe out and breathe in. Try to keep the head relaxed, but keep the head moving and circle the arm. Do another two. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. And one more. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. We're going to open up again. So bring the arm in line with the shoulder. Open it up. And rock the knees over to the other side. So start by looking over that shoulder at that back arm. Take a nice deep breath in. As you bring the arm next to the ear, start your exhalation, palm facing down. And again, we're going to breathe in and circle the up, arm up and take it back in front and breathe in. Open yourself up and breathe out. Keep going. We're going to do four more breathing in. And breathe out. And three more. 
and breathing out. Another two, breathing in. And breathe out. And the last one. And you can hold it here. Bring the feet back to the center. Knees are pointing up. You can bring the arms next to the, next to the body. And here in this position, again, I just want you to be aware of your breathing. You're going to breathe in through the nose for four counts. Breathe out. Now you want to try and make that exhalation a little bit longer than the inhalation. Breathe in again. And breathe out for six counts. Now let the breathing normalize and I want you to arch and tuck. So just tilting and arching the pelvis. Nice quick movement. Bounce into that movement. And we're going to do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now start adding the breathing with it. So you're going to breathe in, four counts in, breathe out, and exhale for four counts. Breathe in again for four, three, two, one. Exhale again for four. Three, two, one. So we're going to breathe in again for four, three, two, one. Now I want you to exhale for longer for six, five, four, three, two, one. Do one more like that. Nice deep breath in. And exhale for six, five, four, three. Engage the glutes. Two and one. Good. From there, I want you to take your foam roller and I want you to bring it underneath your tailbone. And we're going to breathe in, thrust the pelvis up to the ceiling, and bring the roller into the small of the back. So it's not on the bottom, on the glutes, it's above. So my hip bones will be just above the foam roller, sort of a little bit lower down than that. So you're opening up into the diaphragm as much as possible, feeling the rib cage expanding. We're breathing in here. Four counts in, six counts out. Breathe out for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe in again. Two, three, four. Breathe out for six, five, four, three, two. One. Do one more like that. Breathe in. Two, three, four. And breathe out for six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to continue the same movement. This time, I want you to bring your knee over your hip and then the other knee over the hip. If you have any pain in the lower back, then bring the feet back and continue the same movement we were doing. We're going to speed it up a little bit. Breathe in. And breathe out. Point the knees up to the ceiling. Again, breathing in. And exhale. Two, three, four. Breathing in. For two. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Good. Nice deep breath in again. So you want to try... Keep the knees right over the foam roller. I don't want to see the knees here. The knees should be pointing up to the ceiling. Breathing in. And breathing out. Keep going. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. We're going to do another two. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. And one more. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. In this position, I want you to extend one leg, dropping the knee or dropping the foot onto the mat, and extend the other leg. 
Have a nice big stretch as you bend the knees, bring the feet flat, and I want you to shift yourself over to one side of the foam roller. So you're going to bring the back knee into your chest, and I want you to rock the knee over to the front of the foam roller. So similar to what we did on the mat with the knees bent and the arms in that open position, I want you to take the back arm and I want you to bring it forward and breathe in and open up. So again, we're rotating on the spine into that nice rotational movement. Breathe in and open up. Breathe out and drop down. So you want to be just below the hip bone on the supporting leg. And that body nice and extended in line with the leg as you look forward at the hands and then follow that top hand as you open up. Keep going, breathing out and a nice deep breath in. Let's do another two. And breathing in. And the last one, you're going to hold in that open position and bounce, trying to get the back of the hand onto the floor behind you. Five, six, seven, and eight. Bring the hands together again, and you can bend that knee, rock onto your back. Again, hug the knee into the chest, and we're going to shift over to the other side. So shift the roller over or move your body. Bring the knee into the chest. And as you open up the arms, rock the knee over and bring the knee onto the foam roller. So keep that back arm open. And now we're going to move that arm forward. Breathe out as you go forward. Breathe in as you open up. Breathe out. If you need to reposition the leg up, I want you to do so, so it's just below, the roller is resting just below the hip bone. Open that top arm up and breathe out. Now, if that's as far as you can go, that's perfect. You're going to progress if you use your breathing. Breathe in. Breathing creates movement. Breathe out as you come forward. Take it as far as you can. Breathe into the movement. And breathe out. Keep going. Three more. And breathe out. And the last one. Or two more, sorry. And breathe out. On the last one, hold it open and pulse that arm behind you. Try to get the back of the hand onto the floor in that rotation. Four more. Three, two, and one. This time I want you to bring your hand in front and you're going to rock around onto your hands and knees. Keep the hips over the knees. Roll the roller forward. Bounce your chest up and down. Take a nice deep breath in there. And you're going to breathe out and roll up. Good. Now we're going to reposition the roller again, lengthways onto the mat. Like we did earlier, push up into a down dog position and walk your feet up to your hands. Okay. Come into a seated position on the foam roller. Have a quick drink of water and then we're going to move down into some pelvic exercises. Some, and some arms, so core stabilizers, arms and legs. Let's shift right down to the bottom of the roller. And again, you're going to challenge yourself by bringing the feet closer together as you slowly roll down through the spine. Let's breathe in here. As you breathe out, I want you to squeeze the glutes to help control that descent onto the roller. And using that core strength, you slowly, slowly lower down. Make sure the head is at the top and the tailbone is, they're both on the roller. 
I want you to take one arm, let's say the right arm, out in line with the shoulder. And now you're going to take the fingers, like we did in the last routine, we're going to just slide the fingers towards the sternum. So we're moving over the pectoral muscles, sliding the fingers in. If you need to bounce the elbow, if the elbow doesn't go all the way down to the floor, I want you to focus on that downward movement as you massage the fingers towards the sternum. So you want that burning sensation on the skin. That's, you know, you're getting a nice fascial release there. Finish off with one more. And now you're going to move over to the other side. So you're going to take the fingers onto the shoulder as you bounce the elbow down towards the floor next to the mat. Breathing in and breathe out. And again, nice deep breath in and breathe out as the elbow goes up. Let's do another two. And release. And one more. And finish off. Let's stretch the arms up next to the ears. Open up an arch into the back. Now keep the arms where they are. Come into a neutral position with the spine. So pushing the spine, pushing the lower back down a little bit into the mat, into the roller. Let's circle the arms down. And circle the arms up. So you want the back of the hand onto the floor. If you can get the elbows down, even better. So you're really getting a nice stretch over the pectoral muscles. Otherwise, just progress. We're breathing in as the arms come up and breathing out. If you can't get the arms above the head, just take them up to shoulder height. If there's any pain in the shoulders or up in the neck, then make the movement smaller. Keep going. We're going to breathe in. And finish off with an exhalation. Good. Just grab hold of the shoulders, so cross over. And I want you to tuck the tailbone under. Bring the roller to one side of the spine. And just massage over that shoulder blade. Control it there. Squeeze and tuck the glutes under. So you're pushing the spine into the roller. Tilting the pelvis so the tailbone is tucking under. And roll over to the other side of the spine. And just a nice release over that side. Come back to the center. I now want you to take your resistance band and imagine you're picking up a crown and you're going to put it onto your head. So we're going to breathe in and extend the arms. As you breathe out, you're tilting and tucking the lower back onto the roller and you're bringing the crown onto your head. So keep the resistance. Push the resistance band away and bring the crown onto your head. Now we're breathing in and extending the arms next to the ears. Now on the exhalation, I want you to circle the arms, keeping the neck and the head on the foam roller. Reach the hands to the knees. Then again, you're going to breathe in an arch. As you breathe out, you're bringing your crown onto your head. Breathe out, tuck. Breathe in, lengthen the arms next to the ears. As you breathe out, reach the arms to the knees, the hands to the knees. Circle the band, keep the resistance. Let's breathe in an arch. Breathe out into that tuck position. Tuck, 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 tuck. And again, a nice deep breath in, open up. Reach, reach, reach. Breathe out and tuck. Keep the resistance in the band. We're going to keep going, breathing in. Open up. 
breathe out into that tuck position. Breathe in and lengthen out. Again, you exhaling and tucking. Breathe in. Now on the inhalation, your chin should be dropping to your chest. On the exhalation, your chin should be extending up. Keep the resistance in the band. We're going to do two more. Nice deep breath in. Open up. As you breathe out, stretch the band and bring your crown onto your head. Breathe in. Lengthen up. Breathe out. And tuck. Let's do one more. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. And tuck. We're going to finish off there, upper body, so bring, release the band, bring the arms next to the body or next to the foam roller on the mat, and we're going to breathe in now. So again, that lower back is lifting off the roller. Breathe out into your tuck position. Now you're holding the tuck position. I want you to let your feet should be light on the mat. Lift one foot off, lift the other foot. Keep pushing the lower back down into the roller. Lift, so you're going to do four of those alternating. Drop that lifted foot, and now you're going to breathe in again. As you breathe out, you're pushing the lower back down, supporting the lower back. The feet come one at a time off for two, three, and four. Drop the foot down. Now you should be ready to take a nice deep breath in through the nose. As you breathe out, exhale, push the lower back down into the roller. Tuck and lift one foot, the other foot. Three and four. Drop the feet down and breathe in again. As you breathe out, tuck and lift. Two, three. Four. If it's too easy with the elbows on the mat, extend the arms and breathe out into that tuck. Let the feet float off one at a time. Two, three, and four. Drop down and a nice deep breath in. We're now going to work a little bit more into releasing the hips. So I want you to work directly onto the skin. And I want you to grab hold of the skin over your hip bone. You're going to hold on to that skin. And I want you to stretch the leg down. So you're just holding it and getting a nice amount of resistance. In the, you should feel a nice stretch into the front of the leg. Take hold of the skin. And again, hold the skin as you stretch the leg out. Getting a nice superficial release, superficial release in the front of the leg. Take a deep breath in, slide the leg out, good, let's do another one and then we'll go over to the other side, nice deep breath in, pull that skin and stretch it out, good, and release, we're going to do the same thing to the other side, so grab hold of that skin and the superficial fascia underneath the skin and stretch your leg out. Breathe out on the bend. Breathe in. Stretch it out. Exhaling on the bend. Skin in hand. Breathe in. And breathe out. And another one. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Good. Our next movement is to lift both legs at the same time. So the feet are getting light as we breathe in. As we breathe out, those feet should be light and we should be able to lift them off the mat. Just a few centimeters, then drop the feet and breathe in. 
if you're still experiencing any pain in the lower back or you are experiencing pain in the lower back, then keep alternating the two. Don't lift them together. Breathe in. But if you're tucking enough under and engaging the glutes, you should be supporting the lower back and you should be able to lift them quite easily off the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out, even if it's one at a time. Push down and let the feet float off. Keep going. We're going to do another four. A nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, your feet are floating off your stoics. Breathe out, exhale, 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 exhale. Keep the feet floating on the exhalation and drop the feet. We're going to finish off with one more. Breathing in. As you breathe out, tuck yourself under. Let the feet float off, float off, float off. And bring the knees up over the hips. Now hold it here and stabilize yourself. And we're going to work into a crunch into the waist. So keep the knees where they are and twist the feet towards the one side of the body. Now go over to the other side, twist. And again, we twist. Breathing into one side and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Keep going, four more. And breathe out. Three more. And breathe out. Keep going, another two. And breathe out. One more. And breathe out. Good, just hug the knees into the chest. Keeping the elbows where they are next to you on the mat, we're going to circle one leg up. So nice slow movement, bring the knee back. Change legs, circle the other leg. So you want to keep the lower back and the same leg again. So we bicycle the legs, four counts. Now I want you to speed it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Slow it down again. Big circle. For two, and three, and four. Now double time. Eight, seven, six, five. Take the arms out. Four, three, two, and one. Again, slow. Two, three, four. Speed it up for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Slow it down for one, two, three, four. Speed it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three more sets. Slow. Two, three. Don't let the lower back lift off the rover. If the find the lower back coming up. You're going to bring the legs higher so it doesn't affect the lower back. Let's do two more sets. One, two, three, four. Speed it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set. Slow. Two, three, four. Speed it up. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Both knees into the chest. Bring the elbows back next to you if you need to. We're going to breathe in here. I want you to tuck. Breathe in. Hold it where it is. Breathe out. Lift the knees up and the chest up to the chest. Lift the bum off the rover. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. And breathe out and release. Let's lengthen one leg out, lengthen the other leg out and have a nice big stretch 
Open up the legs, squeeze the glutes, and just rock yourself from side to side. So you're staying on the foam roller, just massaging and rocking from side to side. Don't make the movement too big, otherwise you'll roll off the roller. Keep those glutes engaged. Just stay up and stabilize. You use the back of the hand to push yourself off the, the floor to the other side. Good. Come back to the center, bend the knees, bring the feet flat. And I, again, I want you to bring one knee over the hip, the other knee over the hip. Extend the leg to the ceiling, the other leg to the ceiling. Now open up the legs, and I want you to bounce into this position. Nice open position. Pulse the legs out. Keep going for three, two, and one. Squeeze the inner thighs together and bend the knees. And again, stretch everything out. Have a nice big yawn. And stretch. Find that circle resistance band. Bend the knees, bring the feet back onto the mat. And now carefully taking the resistance band in the opposite hand, thread it through the foot. Thread the foot through and bring the band above the knees. Just straighten the band and bring the feet back onto the floor, onto the mat. From here, I want you to think of the scapula. We'll hug this roller with the scapula. The arms are next to the body. And we're going to breathe into our arch position. position so you want the feet quite nice and wide apart and keep the resistance in the band. So you'll feel more into the lateral side now. Breathe out, tuck and round the spine. Now hugging the shoulder blades around the roller, you're breathing in and pushing the pelvis up to the ceiling. Lower down through the spine. And again, a nice deep breath in. Breathe out into the tuck position. Breathe in and thrust the pelvis up to the ceiling. Lower down through the spine. We're going to do another two. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out, tuck. Engaging the glutes. You're firing up into that thrust. And lower down through the spine. We're going to do one more and hold it at the top. Breathe in. As you breathe out, tuck in round the spine. Now breathe into the thrust. And you're going to pulse the knees out for two. Don't let the bum drop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it here. Pulse the feet, the, the tailbone up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up and lower down through the spine. And we're going to do that again. Nice deep breath in. Breathe out. Scoop the belly in. Tilt the pelvis under and thrust the pelvis up. And pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Knees out. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Lower down through the spine. We're going to do two more sets. A nice deep breath in. Arch. Breathe out. Squeeze the glutes. Tuck the pelvis under. Breathe in. Let's pulse the knees out this time. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold them up. Pulse the tailbone up. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slowly lower down through the spine and ready for the last set. A nice deep breath in, arch. As you breathe out, tuck and tilt. Exhaling, scooping, scooping, scooping. Hugging the shoulder blades around the roller. Breathe in. This time we're going to pulse up first for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, 
one, hold it up, pulse knees out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lower down through the spine, bring the feet together. You can just take the band off above the knee, from above the knees, and release the band. Again, I want you to lengthen yourself out and have a nice big stretch. And yield. Bring the feet back onto the mat and challenge yourself by bringing the feet closer together. You're going to breathe in, stretch the arms up next to the ears. When you start your exhalation, circle the arms next to the ears and bring your chin to your chest. Squeeze in your glutes. Use the hands if you need to. Otherwise, that core strength is going to roll you up off the roller. In this position, just stop and have a quick drink of water. Now you might need to come off the roller and just bring your knee next to the foam roller and you're going to sit back. We're going to focus on a nice quad stretch. So your foot is relaxed and your knee is on the mat. Let's open up the arms, bring them next to the foam roller, and I want you to hold it in this position. So we're arching into this position. If that's as far as you can take it, you should feel a nice stretch in this position. Otherwise, you're going to push the pelvis up and give it a, even more of a stretch. So you're pulsing the tailbone up for two, three, four, five, six, seven, Push and hold it and lower down. And let's do the same thing to the other side. So coming off the roller, bring the knee down, bring the foot, the foot, the leg you've stretched, bring that foot onto the mat. And if this is as far as you can go, then I want you to hold it open. And all you have to do is move that upper body. So into that arch and release and arch and release. If you can, however, I want you to take the tailbone off the roller, push the pelvis up and pulse it. Eight and seven, six and five, four more and three and two and one. Bring the tailbone back and let's just bring the foot, feet up. We're gonna come into a squat position and you're going to move the roller up and down. So just watch me. Just feet on either side of the foam roller. Bring the hands in the middle and lift the tailbone. As you uncurl, I want you to hold onto the foam roller with both hands. You're going to squat down, hold the foam roller. And here we're going to come up. You're going to bring the roller above the head. Now I want you to circle the foam roller, bring it down. Squat back and lie the foam roller back onto the mat. You're going to come up, breathing in. Nice squeeze of the shoulder blades together at the back. And obviously those glutes are thrusting forward. Bring the roller back and squat down into that position. And again, nice deep breath in. Open yourself up and circle the roller, breathing out. Let's breathe in, open up, and as you breathe out, circle the foam roller. Good, we're going to do another four. Nice deep breath in, and breathe out. Three more, nice deep breath in, and breathe out. Another two. And breathe out. One more. And breathe out. Bring yourself back into your plank position. So bring your hands forward. Extend yourself into your plank position. Drop onto the elbows if you need to. So this is our starting position. And I want you to tell me how much more movement 
you have in the spine. Maybe you can drop onto the elbows if you want to breathe in, open up, breathe out. Push into the heels in this position, breathe in, especially as you're tucking. I want you to push those heels down. Let's do another four, breathing in and breathe out. And three. And breathe out. Another two. And breathe out. One more. And breathe out. Hold it in that position. Hold it there. Drop down onto the knees. Adjust the foam roller. So it's going to be along the front of the body. A belly button on the foam roller. Make sure you're comfortable. And rest your forehead on your hands. So bring one hand on top of the other. You can make a fist. One hand on top of the other. And lying the hands flat. And I just want you to relax. So again, like we did in the beginning, when we were breathing into the foam roller, I want you to breathe into the foam roller. And you can squeeze the foam roller with the knees. Let's breathe in. And feel the breath pushing around into the back. And breathe out. And again, a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. So you direct your breath. Breathe in and breathe out. One more nice deep breath in and breathe out. Bring the hands onto the mat next to the chest and push yourself up. And just taking the foam roller again, knife edge of the hands onto the foam roller and bounce the chest up and down. Take a nice deep breath in there. And as you breathe out, roll the roller towards you and release it. Uncurl through the spine, circle the shoulders up and back. Link the fingers together and nod the head from side to side. Good, hopefully you're feeling nice and um, movable on that axis and the shoulders are relaxed and there's no tension in the shoulders. You've released that lower back. Let's have one last deep breath in. Palms together and breathe out. Well done and thank you for joining me.